happening. It's happening all over the place. And it's about people sneaking in. Like they sneak in. They can sneak in to the back of your mind. Nothing serious, no sci-fi here. Ever heard of a good old fashioned reverse psychology? Well, let's think about this. I'm gonna put this in terms of what happened in the past with the Consumer Protection Act. But my focus here is going to be the tax proposals on the board. And I will be solving the entire tax issue because I'm not, I don't like to come forward and yell or scream or ironically post YouTube videos basically to chastise somebody because first of all, I've never done this and it's time because all we have is communication, all we have is one another and you should be able to talk to your friends on the top subjects. You know, basically you can broach the subject with anybody and broach the subject of uh, government telling us one thing as a good thing and the people getting behind it and are very, very happy for those good things that come. But in the end, it actually, you know, more times than not, turns negative. It's just, it's kind of funny, but like I said, the Consumer Protection Act, let me get to that really quickly. It's not that quick, but nonetheless, we all remember the credit card companies, they were coming after us. They were basically acting as if they had free roam to charge anything they wanted, like 60, $70 in late fees, 90 days late. So what I'm saying is after you're 60 days late, you'd have a penalty, and then when you hit 90 days late, you'd have another penalty. And those penalties were set by as far as I understand, the banks themselves, the credit card companies themselves. But what happened was there was a new law, Consumer Protection Act, and all the people loved it, and Congress loved it, everybody loved it, because it was gonna save us money, because we were paying, as American consumers, credit card company consumers, absurdly high fees. And these numbers are not going to be exact, but they are gonna be ratio percentage exact. So basically, if I say $10 and $15, that's a 50% increase. The 50% increase is, is going to be right on. But the $10 and the $15 might be off a bit. But nonetheless, they were saying that we were paying an excess of $1 billion in late fees and normally high fees from our credit card companies. And that was an outrage, an absolute outrage. And we knew that, and we didn't want to, you know, give up our credit. That's basically, you know, we, it was our choice to use the credit, N nonetheless. It was our choice or your choice or my choice, whomever did it. Some people were smart enough not to, very few. But th this Consumer Protection Act, they were going to put limits on the fees and the penalties. And it was going to be a great thing because the credit card companies would no longer be able to charge those fees. It'd be cut in half. And unfortunately for us, the voters, the constituents, the United States of America citizens, this was a bait and switch. Now, Congress themselves, many senators, many House members were duped. They would be upset if I call them duped. But would you rather be called duped than an accomplice? Seriously, I mean, there's, there's which way do you want to go? So if those of you are going to leave some comments, whatever, I actually do believe that in the heart of many congressmen is to try to do the right thing or to at least attempt to do the right thing as they best see it in their minds. But their minds aren't my mind and their minds aren't your mind every time, all the time. And people make mistakes and people can get duped. I've been duped so many times it's even hard to count. But nonetheless I can count them. I'd say a Google. I've been duped a Google times. Who knows? Who knows the actual numbers on that? But these congressmen are in office to protect us, not just necessarily to do the right thing in their own minds, but if they're only human, what can they do? So don't, this isn't a, a bashing on Congress, except for those who knew, you know, who knew about it. I'll swing it to religion right now. I'll swing right to religion. Um, you go into, you're a Catholic. I'm not a Catholic, I'm a Christian. But nonetheless, if you pray to God or, or ask for forgiveness in any way, shape, or form, 
I believe that you'd be a Christian. That That's off the topic, but you go and you confess a sin or some sins or some behavior that was sinful and you ask for forgiveness. But what you don't do is you don't say, I can go sin because then I can just go ask for forgiveness. See, you can't have that mental ideology. You cannot say, hey guys, we can go rob this bank because my grandma every Sunday takes me to church and I confess my sins and I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. So you'll be forgiven too. We can go in here and get this done. Because premeditation and want and desire for forgiveness are two different things. So if you premeditate, that's a true sin actually in my mind too. If you're pre, you, you have to have the fear of God go through your mind. Actually enter into your mind during the process of decision making. And if that fear is there, you're pretty much going to be golden. You're going to be golden. You're not really going to do... I mean, this, isn't, this, is how, this is just how I do it. But I would imagine if the fear of God, and you have true fear of God, goes through your mind before you make your decisions, you're not going to do anything that's going to be criminal, not to mention sinful. So these congressmen and these House members and, you know, the Senate, these committee members... They do the best that they can more times than not. I just want to put that on the table. Consumer Protection Act, we're right back to it. Okay, well, what they did is they mandated by law. Okay, first they were protecting us from exorbitantly high fees. We understand that. Great. But what they did is they mandated by law exactly how much can be charged if you're 60 days late or 90 days late and beyond. So what happened was, since it was now mandated by law exactly how much could be charged, it wasn't just the credit card companies. Every single corporation, every single company now has the legal right to charge late fees. So let's say like an a energy company, a gas company, a water company, a city municipality, anybody, any single type of company that you may owe a bill to, any way, shape, or form, now has, because of the Consumer Protection Act, a legal right to charge you late fees. So what happened was, including everybody, we were spending a billion dollars in absorbently high late fees. And most of that was credit card companies. Well now the credit card companies get away with probably the same amount at this day and age. The credit, uh, Consumer Credit Protection Act was a while back, so with inflation and with the numerous more people getting credit, whatever. I'd say they're probably paying maybe $800 billion, 20% less than they were. But what the funniest thing is, and it's not very funny, I like the somebody, but the deal is the American consumer today, after the Consumer Protection Act, is paying 100%, double, remember the one billion a year? Now we're at two billion, two, two and a half billion. Two, two billion plus. And that is because they managed to pay a law all these new, new late fees that can be charged, so now everybody was doing it. So in the end of the Consumer Protection Act, as consumers, we were, yes, we were protected from the nasty credit card companies. But what we weren't protected from was absorbingly high fees. Fee, 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 fee. Fees, 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 fees. They add up. They add up. Okay, the tax situation. I gotta wrap this up, but I'm gonna be coming back to you soon. I'm gonna get it right back up. I'll probably get them up at the same time, actually. But I got a little bit of time here. Um, the way this works is we are told something that we are told we want. And as groups of sheep or Obama, I, you know, today, anybody who voted for Obama that is still in denial, that actually, you know, believes that he's doing good, is an Obama knight. Now, I'm not saying they're wrong or right. I'm just saying they're an Obama knight. Now, anybody that continues to do bad and not use their own mind, that's a sheep. An Obama knight uses their own mind to secure and keep the policies in place. A sheep just follows whatever's going on. There's a lot of sheep out there and that's why the Consumer Protection Act was able to pass. 
Son of a dog. I'll see you in a bit.